and we're back and we only have one monarch's journey open to us king harald the fourth parodre so everyone else we have accomplished already just cycling through them real quick yep that's all so let us embark on this last journey and we'll look at what he needs to do once we've loaded into the game we go iron man of course with the sunset invasion off and everything else left at default pretty much we will play in the cloud and start this good for some reason we get eastern music here all right so we're in 1066 we are 51 that's not good that's old really old so let's check what we need to do harder than steel dynastic so be king of norway and england dynastic hide the pain arrow <laughs> Lovely. King as many members of King Harold II of England's dynasty. The good wins as possible. Death caused by other members of your dynasty also count. Okay. So what? Okay. So this one we can only do with him. Oh no. They're all dynastic. Well, that's good. That's a good starting point a very good starting point what do we need to do crush as many revolts as possible ah all right so all of these are dynastic we want to become the king of england and norway we already got norway so we got that going for us and we need to find the good wins the good wins eh d We have a bunch of them already. How many more are there? How many more are willing to join our court? Of Cornwall. Oh, because he's got wine. Okay, let's invite him to court. So who would be potentially willing? much gold do we have a little bit so let's create us a list and gift for you back to court Another gift for you. Right to court. We want the young ones. We have more chance of killing them. I think we already got a bunch. These here. So let's put them like that. And of course we start children because they're usually fairly easy to kill okay now let's um let's check these things so we have a son who would like to have a seat on the council and he's going to be our chancellor this guy needs a seat on the council as well so he will be this no more important people so we can leave them take care of our minor titles prince magnus let's put in prince olav our court physician will be magne or jester we don't want one keeper of spuns switched 
Let's take our son Olaf. Our son Magnus. There. See. Now we just kind of throw around with these. Don't really care to appease that dude who don't like us. He don't need to like us. Alright, all the rest is fine. We can set a crown focus. Um, pfft. want our capital to be there. A little bit restrictive, isn't it? We have other options. Not only really anything here. Fine. Bergen who's So we have 51. Pretty good with martial stuff. Let's get ourselves some hunting going at the end of life here. We would like to make a friend. I think that sounds good. Our heir is unmarried. We will control this. Check our realm tree real quick. There's no single vassal who's really powerful, so no need to make inside alliances. Let's check around us. 3,000. 3,000. 16,000. What? Why? Event spawned 11,000. Okay, where are those event spawned 11,000? Over here. Because we're right at war with England already. The Norwegian invasion of England. Fighting 11,000. Okay. Let us... Now it's a contentious issue. Going with Sweden. As a potential ally. But we just want non-aggression pacts for now. Why not? Age. Maybe marriage then? To himself. Run. So we have our non-aggression pacts over here. We could kind of Go out this way. We can create a bunch of titles. Some of which we should actually create to take care of all these counts sitting around there. But then again, makes it easier to control them. We raise everyone up. Because we definitely do need everyone ready. Let's get the fleet levies as well. Too many, too many. Just do that. You guys don't have ships? Oh, I think this is just my stuff. We are leading troops ourselves, which isn't the worst thing in the world. We are a Varangian. Veteran of the Varangian Guard. Cool stuff. Let's see if we can't find some better... I want a good win. I want good martial leaders. Eh, there's a bunch. Get them.
We're not going to go for alliances here. Just want non-aggression packs for now. I mean, we could invite the Danes to join us. Let's replace the not so important low level commanders with better commanders. Oh, that looks better. Oh, they don't want an alliance. Does Denmark want an alliance? Neither cares for it. All right. We'll send these right here. Group all this these here as well and then I oh know we already picked these up so all good all fine should siege down here but first I want some eyes on the coastlines we don't see enough yes yes one is so concerned We do have enough uh, supply here to keep those troops in one place, so we will for now. Okay, that's one kid down. Ouch. Not to kill him. See how many will join us. Quite a few. Good, now we want to stand down our own fleet levies. Can we even afford these armies? Yeah, we can. Set these fleets. Send one down here. And the other here. So we get a good overview of what's going on. Okay, he's marching north now. Looking to challenge us. He has 6,000 troops. What did we just see then? Okay, let's, let's go try and find them. Oh, we found something. Our reputation is ruined. Oh no. Let's move our troops. Okay, we're straight up attacking them here. I can't stop it anymore either. So let's hope the river crossing isn't too bad for our troops. Okay, one of our flanks broke, the one that we led ourselves, which isn't great. Let's move down here to Middlesex. Siege this stuff down. Actually, let's split and siege both Essex and Kent, well, Middlesex and Kent, and potentially lure him into an attack against us. How many troops you got? 5,000. Why do you have 10,000 if you only have 5,000? According to your own calculation. Oh, because we're not fighting the English. We're fighting someone else there. One army is English and one isn't. This is confuddling.
Okay. These are the English armies. So we should... Probably... Combine troops here. So we finish this siege, we combine, we walk. No, these are not the English. These are the English armies. Who is this guy? Oh, it's the Denomondes. We probably take care of them. How's your war going? 67%. Oh no. Oh no, we can't have that. We need to go kill the Denormandies. Make sure they don't get any wrong idea here. And win before we can. Okay, let's move there. Kill them. That's another good win down. The English are sieging us. Fine, okay, first we take care of the Denomondies, then we take care of the English. <gasps> Let's go duel, we win it. But this is not looking good. This is looking like a fair fight there, while well, it shouldn't be a fair fight. It should be just losing. Okay, now how can how can we attack them without crossing a river? Can't. We'll cross the river. We become proud. You want to join us, but you're not even great. Nah. Let's go beat the English army real quick and then we return. to build up a little bit in terms of morale before we do something silly oh no start starving in our own lands acceptable let's go crush the english how are we doing militarily not great then the holy orders could get some mercenaries to help this issue. Okay, let's split and put half onto the ships while the rest sieges here. 260 can do a lot of damage to us. We need to go retake this stuff here. So I'm very reluctant to just siege it down. Okay, let's go. That's enough. Also enough. How many the Normandy troops are left? 6,000. 
Okay, let's send these back down here. Because we do have to take care of the English. Land in Essex. Then we can go over there and attack here. Question is, of course, is he going to pick up his troops with the ship there? He just might be. Okay, let's get our own troops as well. Surrey, Essex, Oxford, and this is the only way to attack him without crossing a river, so we are doing good. We need to re-siege or take back the stuff that the Denormon de-sieged. Bring back our ships. Lower the De Normandy war score. Let's put our troops together immediately. No dilly dallying. And another good wind bites the dust. I think, yeah, he has landed his armies on top of us. So we needn't worry about that anymore. Let's split our fleet and send some over here to see what the Denormandies are doing. Oh. Bugger me. Still can't see what the De Normandies are doing. Right, let's set them here. I want to see what's going on, not to guess. So how's your war with the De Normandies? The De Normandies are winning. They had 91% just now. Did we decrease it? No. English keep shipping armies on top of us. Okay, now we're starting to retake stuff that in Ormandies took. We're at 48%. This is some nail-biting stuff right there. We need to take this siege as quickly as possible. Okay. Now we can attack. That should have taken a chunk out now. 86. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Okay. We have overtaken the Denormandies in war score. And we should push them back even further if we take this. I don't believe the De Normandies are going to send more troops. Even though they should have some. The English are combining. Which isn't the worst thing for us. Because they might challenge the De Normandies first instead of us. We'll just have to see. Our heir is unmarried. Agnes. Oh, she's... Let's get him someone strong, maybe? No. Genius, maybe? Nope. Quick, quick. No. Nope. We just go by age, then. Something close to his age. Her. Gives us a non-aggression pact internally. That's fine. All right. The English have 
built an army again and we're going to siege Bedford. Why? Because it's the county that we can cross here to attack again without receiving penalties. It's 93% in our favor, 80 something in his. Oh, York? Did you. York troops are just taking our stuff. That's not good. We're not tribal, sadly. We are feudal. So it's very hard for us to come up with more troops. Okay, so York is fighting something small there. They're not really concerned with us. I think they're fighting something internally. Yeah, some some revolt. We're at 79%. Are they commencing battle? Where are you with the Denormandies? 85%. This seed should do it. Are they attacking them? Are you crazy? You're attacking something stronger. Oh, no, they're actually winning. How are they doing that? That's crazy. How, how are they winning that? Okay, let's check the war score on that one. 100%. We are done. We have lost. We weren't quick enough. Unless... Let's try this. Desperate attempt. Maybe it accepts... <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> right. So now we need to fight the Denom on these. Let's unpause for a second and repause real quick. Uh, because we need to summon our English troops now, of which there are not many. Let's get everyone together here. Are there any more troops we can raise? Yes. Did we raise some troops at home? Well, doesn't look like it. How many more troops does the Normandy have? They have 4,000. We have barely 5,000. Okay, let's first take care of holding stuff. We don't want to hold these things. Let's... Let's generate us... A bunch of fresh vassals here. Let's, yeah, let's just generate them. Here. Properly. To hold any of this. Okay, we can't move our capital here, but it's going to be our capital eventually. Jorvik. Let's set these up. Mm. Yeah, let's set this up as well. So we could go ahead and try and get ourselves some more troops through mercenaries. How much money do we earn? About 10 gold. Do 
So we have some money for a little bit. The Irish band. For the Lithuanians. I think we should get the Irish. Feels very appropriate. Let's go pick them up. Just to reinforce and we'll see about the rest of this. Wait. Aren't we king of Norway? Oh, completely in the Dijur. So we're on the right track anyway. Already killed a few good wins. Still a whole bunch more to go. We have one going. Very good. So this is the start of the monarch's journey with King Harald Hrodre. Or Hardrodre? Hardrodre, I think. Not Hardrodre. Oh well. We'll see how this turns out.